Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Exploring Women Artists. Um, today we are going to be learning about Julie Buffalo Head, who is an indigenous American artist or a Native American artist um, who lives in Minnesota and um, who, who lives and works in Minnesota um, and is a part of the Ponca tribe in Oklahoma. So. Um, she is part of an indigenous American tribe that um, is based in Oklahoma. I think Julie Buffalo Head is really interesting because of the way that she uses her art to comment on the indigenous American experience. Um, she uses um, a lot of animals in her work um, and in many of her paintings the main character is a wolf with um, human features and human characteristics, um, which is called anthropomorphism. I know that's a big word, but basically it means giving an animal human traits and dress like humans and act like humans and sit like humans. Disney and a lot of cartoons and a lot of movies use anthropomorphism in their characters like Daffy Duck, um, and a lot of other animated characters um, like Goofy or um, any other cartoons that are animals but act like humans and dress like humans. Um, as I said, a lot of Disney animals um, use anthropomorphism in their, uh, are anthropomorphic characters. So, Julie Buffalo Head uses anthropomorphism in her paintings. Um, she creates paintings with animals, and the, the, a wolf is usually the main subject of her painting. Um, a, the, the wolf is anthropomorphic. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of examples. Um, so, this is one of her paintings, um, and as you can see, this is a wolf. And the wolf is in a dress, sitting on a lawn chair, legs over, um, and her feet are more human-like, and so are her hands, you know, more human-like than wolf paws are. Um, and the fact that she's wearing a dress and sitting crisscross in a lawn chair is very human. Um, so this is what I mean by anthropomorphic. Um, again, on the back, there's some more examples. Um, again, here's a wolf wearing a dress and heels, um, and here's some other animals down here, and then the wolf, again, in a dress pointing at the skunks to do her work for her. Um, when I saw these paintings, I was immediately intrigued. I think it's really beautiful the way she does that. She uses a sort of a blank background and uses anthropomorphic animals, specifically wolves. Um, wolves are mostly featured in her work. Um, and she does this, this um, sort of work to comment on the indigenous American experience in the United States today. So um, a lot of indigenous Americans live on reservations and she uses her work to criticize and comment on the reservations and the cultural genocide that indigenous Americans faced when um, colonizers first came to the United States. Um, and by cultural genocide, I mean the um, eradication of indigenous Americans um, in the 1400s and later. Um, a lot of the colonizers, the Europeans who came from Europe to America and settled on this land, killed off a lot of the Native Americans, as I'm sure most of you know. Um, and now, indigenous American populations are very small in the United States and they live in very concentrated areas. Um, and they live mostly in reservations. So, um, Julie Buffalo Head uses her, um, her artwork to criticize that experience, the experience that she's had as an indigenous American growing up in the United States. Um, and she 
makes art to comment, comment on her own personal experience and also the experience of her ancestors. So I think her work is really awesome and it's also really interesting to look at the way that she um, depicts these wolves so realistically but also um, humanizes them. I think it's really interesting the way she does that. So for today's project on Julie Buffalo Head, McKenna made this handout for everyone. Um, up here is a little bit of information about her and this is one of her paintings. I actually printed out a picture for you guys so you can take a look. It's a, a rendering of this painting that you guys can color in however you like. You can use her style, um, fill in the background a solid color like she does in a lot of her paintings or um, color it however you think looks best. It's up to you. Um, the link to this handout will be in the description of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed learning about her. I know I did. Um, and I hope that you guys print out the, the handout and color it in. And I hope you share with us. You can use hashtag LoveArtSphereInc on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy and have a nice weekend. And join in next Wednesday at 1.30 for the next Exploring Women Artists virtual class. Thank you.